to the first video on blood. This is part of the cardiovascular system of lessons, which includes blood, the heart, as well as the blood vessels. Before we begin talking about blood, let's first talk about manufacturing. If you were to take a look at how Xboxes are manufactured or Playstations were manufactured, you would find that the manufacturing is only part of the whole picture. What occurs is that the factories that put together the Xboxes and the Playstations, they have to receive materials from other distributors. They will receive plastic, they will receive microchips, computer components. They're going to receive all these different things brought to that location, which will then assemble those game consoles. Once the game consoles are created, they then have to take them and send them elsewhere throughout the world. And just like any other factory or at your home or any other business, waste product is created, trash and garbage is made. The cardiovascular system in our bodies is the world, the infrastructure that supports the little factories. In our bodies, these little factories, these little PlayStation manufacturers and Xbox manufacturers are our cells. And through a process of cellular metabolism, we take raw goods and turn it into energy. The energy is used and waste products are created, which also have to be taken away. So the cardiovascular system is part of the infrastructure. It's part of the highways and the air traffic area. It's all part of things to get stuff to the cells and remove stuff from the cell. So let's take a look at the more clinical functioning of blood. Blood will carry oxygen from the lungs to the tissues. It will carry waste materials to parts of the body for filtration and elimination. It carries other important substances to and from tissues such as nutrients and hormones. Blood just like the highways, also has to have a protective function. So just like if you were to drive down a highway, you would see emergency services, you would see police. Within the blood vessels, blood also has a protective function. They have their emergency services and their police force. So the blood will help regulate our pH. If you remember, pH has to deal with acids and bases. It will help regulate our temperature. It will deal with clotting. That's what happens when, if you start to bleed, it will clot. It will form that little scab. And it's important in the immune response. So what is blood? Blood is a connective tissue. In fact, it's a specialized connective tissue. The average adult has around 5 liters of blood, or about 8% of body weight in kilograms. It is composed of both liquids and solids. The solid portion of blood is known as the formed elements. The liquid portion of blood is known as plasma. We'll talk about each of these in more detail. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the formed elements.